1999 BMW M Coupe's high top sneaker on wheels appearance. series to manual swap it which should be sick um, but for now this is the cell frame out of this car one of the trailing arms is off because I was pulling one of the bushings out or at least trying to um, I've already got the garagistic garagistic um, cell frame bushings in I'm going to be welding in these plates today which I'll, will allow me to use some eccentric bolts to adjust the uh, trailing arm to finally have camber and toe adjustment in the rear or at least a little bit um, and then we'll get on to the uh, turboing it uh, pretty soon, which will be sick. So I've already done these bushings. I've already done the front control arm bushings under here. These little guys, lollipops. Um, and, uh, and I think a couple other things that I'll remember along the way. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. Um, make sure that this is perpendicular with, uh, with this bracket right here and then I'll get to uh, welding it. It's not gonna be the prettiest weld it's just because it's, you know, typical me using the good old, wherever it went, flux core, but uh, should work out okay. I also finally took some of your advice and got work gloves. Uh, yeah, that was a good idea. Thank you people for berating me to do that for so long because it definitely helps me not be gross. Also, just a plan on the rear arrow because I guess I haven't really run through it with people. Um, the reason why the factory wing is off right now is because I'm going to use these mounting points to run some carbon fiber struts out to the bottom of a 3D printed, um, potentially carbon laid up wing. And then that is going to run down from the, from the points that are coming off of the trunk uh, or the wing mount, they're going to run down to right here in the middle of the license, where the license plate bracket goes. And I'll drill a hole through the center license plate bracket in here. And then that way we can have a stepper motor in here and that will actuate a rod so that I can have the wing stall for uh, braking. And I don't think I'm gonna have the wing go above the roof because as the famous Josh Walling said, that'll probably exclude me from basically every single racing class I could ever be near racing in. Um, but uh, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think, I think that'll be a really, really nice look and it will be functional. Um, and we gotta do CFD analysis on the wing shape so before I print it and everything, but it should be sick. So I totally just spaced out and forgot that I had this uh, Tenton Holzen Automotive digital inclinometer for my alignment kit. And this thing works super, super awesome. Um, it's really, really, it seems pretty accurate. Um, at least it's really touchy. So I'm gonna use that to level this after I pull off this trailing arm to try to make this a lot easier to move around. And I'll just try to make it as level as I can and then go from there. Okay, so by just putting in a couple uh, shims underneath here, they're actually just staples boxes, um, and putting in these blocks for my uh, hydraulic press under here, I've actually got this perfectly level. It says 0.00, .00 um, and so is the other side. So from this, now I'm gonna take that block, put it in there, and see if I can kind of jerry-rig this on that block so that it can just kind of be just about level. You give me too much shit on uh, flux core welding this check out this uh the penetration that the flux core welder got on the uh camber plate it's actually pretty good I'm pretty happy with that that's just two little uh kind of heavy tacks and uh now i'm gonna go ahead and take the carbide 
uh, grinder and just grind up the edge and do that. The reason why I didn't grind off all of this paint to start with is because if there's any gap in here and any moisture gets inside of there, it'll start to rust this plate off from the inside out. And I don't want that. So I'm just leaving the factory coating on here. And then I'm just gonna take the carbide thing and grind away at the uh, at the edge and tack it, or get as much weld as I can on there. Shitty flux core weld came out. Check this out. Oh yeah. Oh, you can barely see it. But yeah, it's not. Uh, still not the prettiest weld bead, but the consistency is uh, is starting to get there. So pretty stoked on that. I still have to clean up some of the welds so that it doesn't hurt this uh, this bushing at all when I'm when it's running. Um, but I am going to go ahead and show you guys how this is all going to uh, articulate. So I've just got the bushing chillion here, and you can see that these little end plates here are have eccentric washers, and those are going to allow this bushing to, if I spin this, travel up and down. Let's see it moves. In and out like that. See how gross this weld is in here? I gotta clean it up. I'm not ashamed of gross welds, because I know these are gonna work just fine. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how it works. It just moves this up and down in this track uh, along these washers. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead, I'm gonna clean up these welds and then um, do this side and then show you guys the result on the camber adjustment installation. So it's um, it's new night. Um, I think it's way too cold outside to work in the shop. So I'm gonna start a cool project. Um, these guys right here are the headlights that were on the car. And as you can see, they're in kind of a little sad state. Um, these were fitted with halo rings that I got from some generic store on eBay um, a long time ago. The car never came with, or at least I never got the car with um, these real headlights that came with some god awful eBay ones. So I sourced these from a junkyard and then um, and then repolished them or we clear coated them and then put the lenses in or halos in. Now most Z3s have burnt lenses in them. And I'm just now noticing I'm missing one of the lenses, so that's super unfortunate. It's probably somewhere. But um, yeah, most Z3s have burnt lenses. So sourcing them from other headlights is kind of um, a pain. So what I'm going to do is take the, the circular lens that's inside of here, this guy right here, and then I'm going to uh, 3D scan it or, or measure it up best I can. I've measured them in the past and they're a little bit hard to get the shape right, um, but I'm going to probably 3D scan it and then emboss um, the Stanceworks logo into it and then uh, print it out of clear SLA and hopefully cover that with some sort of UV uh, resistant resin or uh, coating so that way they don't yellow. So um, I'm gonna start the project now just by taking apart these headlights. You can see um, one of these was already masked up for 3D scanning before uh, when I made the original headlight, uh, faux headlight covers for the car. Um, one of them was an intake, I'll put a picture of it up. But, uh, but yeah, gonna take all this tape off and then throw these in the oven and separate the lenses to grab the um, circular lenses out of them and we'll get to 3D scanning and modeling those parts. Now 
now you guys can really see what I mean by every Z3 lens is, is totally burnt. And this is like this before I even got these lamps and used them and put HIDs in them. This is just what happens with the factory bulbs. So uh, yeah, trying to buy a set of these just to get these out of it is a pretty lost cause when they all pretty much look like this, or at least they're all on their way to looking like this. So hopefully the ones that we uh, 3D print won't have too much of an issue. So uh, I've kind of made the executive decision that uh, I'm not gonna 3D scan this. Um, I've done 3D scans of other people's lights, lenses, um, and made reproductions in the past. And um, considering I could just put this on a piece of paper and trace it and pretty much do the same things, um, I think I'm just gonna do that. Our scanning is a lot more, 3D scanning itself isn't that hard, but um, going from scan data to CAD, um, just to do as simple of an operation as I'm gonna be doing on this is not really worth uh, worth my time, at least. If I was getting paid for it, sure. If you want it to be done, pay me, I'll do it. But um, for this purpose, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna quick cat it up. Uh, how's it going? What you doing? This is how to take a picture with a camera, not have it distort the fuck out of your caliper that's sitting on your notebook next to your drawing. Makes sense to me. Put that on telephoto. Get as far away from the drawing as you can. And just try to be head on with it. And then it'll be freaking good.